Previously, we have seen how countries like Pakistan, India, and New Zealand are gearing up for commercial space race. And now, another nation from Asia wants to conquer the space industry. From the title, you must have guessed it. It's Australia. Though it looked like Australia must have a long-running space program, it's surprisingly very new. But now, they are all set to launch satellites into lower Earth orbit. Again, the main driving force for Australian space program is not any government agency, but a Fire. private company. So, what they have done and what are their plans? Just like New Zealand, Australian space industry gained significant momentum when it was announced that Adelaide would host Australian Space Agency in 2018. Since then, two major companies came together to launch Australia's first space-capable rocket, the DEWC Systems, which is working on Australia's defence and electronic warfare technology, and Southern Launch, which is assisting them for their space launch capabilities. Aerospace plays a major role in any nation's defence sector which is why Southern Launch can open the door for Australia to enter not only just into space exploration, but also to become rising military power in the region. Southern Launch was founded by Lloyd Tamp in 2017, and in just three years, they attempted their first launch back in September 2020. It is remarkable as it is, but it was not so easy. Their first attempt went to misfire. But then they successfully launched their 3.4 meter tall dart rocket towards the edge of space. The 34 kilogram rocket was meant to gather data for Air Force with a small payload which is now recovered after being fallen back on Earth with a successful technology demonstration. Considering the space launch capabilities and the customer lined up for the launch, it will be very interesting to see how it goes for Southern Launch in Australia. But they are not the only space companies in Australia. Gilmo Space is another leading company in space sector which is pioneering in propulsion technology from Australia. It was founded by two brothers, Adam and James Gilmo, in 2013. Since then, they have successfully launched small rockets back in 2016, all using 3D printed parts. As of now, they have their own mobile launch pad and great source of funding because of which they are able to prepare for their first launch in lower earth orbit in 2022. They are preparing for their 30 meter tall Ares rocket with a payload capacity of up to 305 kilograms. It is so incredible that before 10 years there was absolutely nothing going in commercial space industry. And now People from different parts of the world are coming up with their own dreams and ideas about space exploration. It's so true that when someone gets success in something, then it is not only limited to for that person alone. Rather, it inspires others to keep going. This is sort of like a chain reaction which never ends. With this, tell me in the comment section which country or company you would like to see next in our videos. I hope you really enjoyed this video. If you did, just give us a huge thumbs up. And if you want more such exciting content in the future, just subscribe to the channel. Signing up for now, see you in the next one.